traps you in the little electrical cage thing and then he grabs the shit out of you and he's like, and you're like, and he laughs. <laughs> and you cry. What? What? That's the plastic thing I saw earlier on the title screen. That's what I want. I want that. How do I? What? How do I do that? And who the fuck is this person? A guy or a girl? Yeah, that? <laughs> Zero. It looks like he's charging his shot. That's what the mind blow number two. It all makes sense now. The green shot is the same shot that Zero fires, and I have to charge up my Buster to do it. Fuck. Now I know. I didn't have to have somebody tell me with a whoop making that shot off. So clearly this guy's a fucking awesome. He just wrecked this dude you didn't even know you could do damage on. And then the dude's like, oh, the fuck, and just runs away. So he turns around, and this guy's name's Zero, by the way. So he looks over at you, and he's like, look, X, let me level with you for a sec. You're strong, but you're not as strong as I am. But check it out. Someday, you will be as strong as I am. <laughs> what the fuck? This shit blew my goddamn mind when I was little. Forget it. I get to be as cool as zero. Fucking forget it. The crazy <laughs> shit. The buster shot, the dash, the fucking the hair. I don't know. It's fucking zero. I want to be I, him. This, my little sequelitis of seas, is, this is called theming. This is what makes the feel of Mega Man X's story elements feel so potent. Everything in this game has to do with Mega Man X growing stronger. And all the elements are clear. You not only have the personal parallel character, Zero, who represents how strong you will become, but also the goal to defeat Bio, who at this point in time, you can't even visibly damage. And this isn't just...